what's up guys I just wanted to make another video about how to um, how to identify all the cichlids so there's a bunch of African cichlids about around here and this will I mean this will only work for African cichlids just to display just a disclaimer um, so yeah um, so first thing you can do by identifying African cichlids, and this works for mostly Ambuna. Um, this can work for full-grown peacocks and apps. Um, first thing you do is you classify them by their color. It's the easiest thing you can do, right? So, um, on Google, you can just say, so let's say you want to figure out what this fish is. Like, I don't know what this fish is. It's, de it's red, I mean, it's orange, right? So, then you can look up on Google, um, orange African cichlids, okay? African cichlids, you can tell if they're African cichlids because, like, they all have, like, the same body shape. Like, here, this is, like, classic African cichlid body shape. And you should know, you should know the body shape of an African cichlid. Um, but for classification, at least. And, um, so, yeah. So you check their color. So they're, that's orange. So, when it's orange, you look up orange African cichlids on Google. Next thing you want to know is if it's a peacock, hap, or an imbuna. Um, peacocks and haps are much harder to tell apart than imbuna. Um, so, let's, so you can tell um, imbuna versus peacocks and haps um, because imbuna have a fuller color. So look, so this is an imbuna, for example. And this one is a hap because you can see the ambuna they have much fuller color right so you can even tell when they're smaller you can they have their full they have their full color potential when they're babies for most of them at least so like you see how this is just such a full color and this goes with most popular ambunas because you know they're cheap colorful and you know easy to keep so that's why you can tell um, you can see that German red. So, yeah, so you can tell, you can tell, like, the difference between their color. Like, you see how, you see how colorful that tiny fish is versus, like, this peacock or something that's a male and, or that peacock right there. See how colorful that one is when it's a little? So that's a definite sign that that's an Ambuna. And, you know, when you get, like, well-versed with the fish, you, you can immediately tell the difference between imbunas and peacocks and haps. With peacocks and haps, you can't really, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. You pretty much have to, like, start, you know, what I do to tell the difference, like, what I did to study all the types of fish is I just went to, like, Live Fish Direct, Tampa Bay Cichlids, uh, Quinn's Fins, uh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, you know, Southeast Cichlids, uh, I don't think Okay, maybe, I don't think they had pictures. Yeah, they had pictures. They had pictures. So I just checked all the cichlid sellers, you know, and they have pictures, like Imperial Tropicals too, of all the fish, and then I just got well-versed with them. And so, yeah, you just tell the color. You just figure out what color is the fish. So blue fish. So you just search up blue peacock cichlids. And also with peacock cichlids, you they you can tell by their scales like you can tell like how much like you can tell they have like blue on every part of their scale but like ambuna look like they kind of look scaleless kind of but that's kind of how i tell the difference between them and you know um you'll get well versed with them so basically you check, you check their color that's the easiest way check their color look it up and then find the fish that looks exactly like that. Now with these fish, if you see any fish that has black and black on any other color, it's considered an OB, which means orange blotched or blotched. It's considered blotched. So you can just look up blotched African cichlids. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much a helpful way to um, figure out what fish you are you know what fish you want to identify and thanks for watching